I called my mom and I was just crying and I'm like, I lost my keychain and I just cried. Look at this, Brighton. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. I'm running a little late for school today, which is fine because I'm caught up in the class that I'm late for right now because all the grades like today or tomorrow are like final. So I did a bunch of homework last night because I feel like I always get behind, but it's okay. Now I'm being late for school and I'm making myself some breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys. When Taylor sent us like her package from Hawaii, she sent us this pancake mix, which we've had in Hawaii before and it's so good. It's like the yummiest pancakes you'll ever eat. So I'm gonna make them. We're out of whipped cream, so I thought it would be fun if I like made it with just like cream. <laughs> the old fashioned way? Yes. Okay. I think it'd be fun to do a little fit check. So let's start with Lexi. Lexi, show us your fit of the day. I'm just wearing this. Cute. You say where stuff is from? Yeah, where is it from? Okay, this sweater is, I wanna say three people. And then the jeans are my hotel rocks. And then my Uggs. Super cute, and your pretty earrings. But mostly your pretty smile, pretty Thank eyes, you. <laughs> your long hair. You're so gorgeous, Lexi. So are you. You're gonna have a great day. It's one of the last days of the term. I hope so. Oh, and Lexi has a lot to do today because she's doing finishing a math test, taking another math test, right? Yeah. So what else do you have happening at school? I don't know, it's just a crazy week because it's like all the teachers like deadlines. Actually, most of mine already have their deadlines, but I think I still have like one or two that I'm still working on, so. We're gonna have a big party when school's out. Oh yeah. Let's big do it. Let's do it, that'd okay. be so fun. That'd be so fun. That was nice of you to share some gum. <laughs> Caught in the act. Brighton, will you give us an outfit um, tour? <laughs> um, yes, okay, so I just have this shirt from. It's really cute, I like the texture. Like, it's just one of those cable knit sweaters. Thank you. Yeah. And then these jeans from Motel, and then my Uggs. So you and Lexi both have Motel Rocks jeans and Uggs. If you don't know about Motel Rocks, the girls love their jeans, right? They're so good, and all their clothes are just so cute. Yeah, Lexi's is kind of like a thick, chunky cable net. Is this from Anthro? This, or is this I people? think it's for people, but it's actually, oh. it's actually just kind of cold, but. So it's not super warm, but it is super cute. Love it, you guys actually are wearing a very similar outfit today. We actually are. <laughs> I feel like we're always wearing like matching outfits. And Brighton is like almost as tall as Lexi now. Well, no, no. Oh, okay, that's right. I was like, got wait. Because so. <laughs> Lexi's like 5'9", or something. I don't know, I haven't measured, probably. I think so, but so. Five but Brighton, you're definitely getting really tall, really fast. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. Old, <laughs> She'll never pass me up. We'll see, we we'll will see. see. We'll, we'll see. have to wait. Tell me that too often. She's like walking over here back. Pearl's gonna miss you, Lexi. Well, I'm gonna miss her more than she's gonna miss me. <laughs> she's like, please. Hi, Pearl. <laughs> so funny. Pearl's always trying to escape, so she's watching as they leave. Yeah, she always wants to run out, but I'm like, you don't want to run out, it's literally snowing. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> snowing outside, and then she runs back in. So. We don't recommend it, Pearl. Stay there. Like, it's especially when it's cold, she'll run out, and then she'll run in, and she'll, like, act like she's all, like, <laughs> Again. And then she'll literally try to escape the next second. Yes, it's she's been like a minute. She's how quick she is to forget. Okay, bye guys. I love you. Okay, bye. I love you. Have the best day. Thank you. Love you guys so much. Love you. Text me. Call love me. You. Love, you. love you. Bye. Meanwhile, back on the ranch. <sighs> Not done yet, but it's something to be bigger. <laughs> I, I I also added some powdered sugar. Mm. So maybe that's just mm. what made it bigger. I don't know. I wonder. Well, you know, if you keep beating that, you're gonna have some butter. So that's how butter's made? Yeah. You keep beating it, keep beating it. Why is butter so bad for you then? It just really has a lot of fat. Cream actually has a lot of fat too. Uh, my arm's so tired already. You got this. By the time I'm done, I'm gonna be like, that's nothing. Pour the milk into a large jar and shake it for around 10 minutes or until it breaks down into butter and buttermilk. Whoa. Then, That's the actually a lot. Oh, we're probably not gonna be making butter. I don't think that's cheating. I think that's just using your resources. Yeah. In the meanwhile. <laughs> in the meantime. I'll make the pancake mix. Yummy. I 
you guys are wondering, this cupboard behind us is actually missing one of the cupboard doors. <laughs> so one day, Lexi and Brian and Taylor were all laying down like right here. They were, they were just laying on the ground because there's a heater right there. Yeah, so Pearl was laying right there because of the heater and then Lexi laid down there. And I think Taylor laid down there next to Lexi. And then, well so, Lexi loves Pearl, Taylor loves Lexi, and Brighton loves Dimble. <laughs> well, not that they don't love the others, but that's just kind of It's a love happened. triangle. Lexi was like, Pearl, and then Taylor was like, Lexi, and Brighton was like, guys. So they all lay down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I was trying to get a cup of water. So I go, I open the cupboard, and. And the cupboard actually just and, fell off. And the top came first. I didn't know what was happening. It was going yeah. so bad. Yeah. And it just fell backwards onto Lexi, holding, still holding. And it's a big, like, it's a big, heavy it piece of wood. And in that in the ground right here. Yes, the cupboard fell, almost hit London, nearly escaped hitting London. I fell, I fell on Lexi and Brighton, like I fell backwards because I was still hanging on to it while it was falling. Oh, which is so scary. I fell back and you were probably thinking about how your sisters were right there. Like, that had to be so scary. No, I actually <laughs> I was just thinking about how it's about to kill you. No, it's about it, to land it on you. Too fast. It was just like I opened it and then I'm just being pulled backwards. I kind of literally had a huge, I don't know if you can tell, but a huge dent in the floor. Girl got so scared because it was a loud like. Pull. But the scary thing was, girl is, jumped up and everyone was like. But the craziest thing was that Lexi was actually, she was right here. Her bum was, like she was laying sideways and she was like right. Like it almost hit her hip. It almost hit her hip. That's like her hip was like right here and that's where, you know. So like fell there and then it like. Right behind Lexi. And, and then like fell sideways onto them. Yeah. And I was like just like laying. I don't even know what would have happened. Like they would have been seriously injured from a random like yeah. weird. Just in case you guys are wondering, you might have noticed we've been cooking on these um, like this is a, just a pancake grill and we have like this butter. Walmart burner. We canceled our stove and our fridge when we were moving in because it all was like just too expensive. And we were like, do we have to have that super nice stove? No, we don't. Do we have to have that super nice fridge? No, we don't. We're just fine without it. We've been in our house now for a little over a year and we still haven't got that stove that we love and that's totally fine because actually guys, like as much as it might seem weird to a lot of people, like it hasn't been a big deal at all. It's been totally fine cooking on these things. Oh, Lennon's about to pour the pancakes. Moment of silence. And it will taste like Hawaii. What are you gonna name your first pancake? <laughs> Hawaii. How about Oh, perfect. <laughs> but you say it best. <laughs> That's a great name. Any middle names? <laughs> um. <laughs> Oahu I love that. Wow, that's really cute. <laughs> Guys, actually, oh, I'm getting so many things on my sweater. Oh, yummy. Looking. I think it's time. For all the hard labor I've gone through. It's time to read the reward. Taylor had something really, a miracle happen today and we're so grateful. She wakes up in a couple hours. We talk every morning when she wakes up, so I'm gonna have her tell you the story, but I just can't wait. I'm so excited, I'm so happy for her, so stay tuned. <laughs> just have a pancake seizure. Those happen sometimes. So good. Wow, London, that's amazing. Well, if you have any leftovers, I know somebody else who might wanna try some. Okay, before London goes to school, we have to do outfit check for London. London, tell us about your outfit. Okay, so I'm wearing this white sweater from Zara. I should have worn my other sweater that matched friends and like she's like cable knit, but it's so cute. And then these jeans from Zara, they're just like, I don't know. I love your Zara jeans. They're cute, so like, cute. Again. And then my canvases. Love them. London, have the best day at school. I will. Love you. Love you. All right, besties, I'm here at the Radsum store now because I'm covering another shift today because our store manager, her daughter's birthday is today. So she's like, 
I wanna take her out and go to lunch, so I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to cover. It's always just so inspiring when I'm here because I'm looking around, thinking about our next designs, I'm thinking about how I can market things, and I just learn a little bit every single time I come. So it's so fun to be here. Hopefully people come in and get some swimsuits today because we have our spring break sale happening. I'm gonna have a link below. Right now, all suits and cover-ups are 25% off, and then in a few days, they're gonna be 30% off, but I'm gonna add a link below if you guys wanna cash this out a little bit early before everybody else for the 30% off. So it's gonna be, the code is spring break 30 and you'll get 30% off before everybody else. So that way you can catch your favorite suits. I recommend doing it because that's the biggest sell we ever do before summer. So yay. Okay, I have the coolest story ever to tell and I need to tell you. So two or three days ago, I lost my keychain. And let me just show you my keychain. This is my keychain, it has everything on it. Like it has my car keys, my entire wallet, my AirPods, um, my, my mail key, it has my whole life there. Like my ID, it has everything. I lost my keychain and I was devastated. I called my mom and I was just crying. And I'm like, I lost my keychain. And I just cried like pretty much all day. I know that sounds so dramatic, but I'm supposed to fly to Utah in one week and without my ID, I wouldn't be able to fly. So I was just freaking out that I wouldn't be able to fly and freaking out that I don't have any card to pay for anything. I was just such, I was panicking. Um, and so for a full 48 hours, I just was like, well, I lost my keychain. I don't know what to do. And I was praying and praying and praying. I was praying so hard for 48 hours. And last night, I actually sent this video to my mom. I have, I'll show you the video right after this. Last night, my phone charger fell behind, like underneath my bed and I had to pull out my bed. And when I pulled out my bed from the wall, my keychain was underneath my bed. And I'm telling you, I looked under my bed like four or five times. I looked under there so many times and it just happened to be there. So I felt so grateful. I feel like that was just an answer to prayers. And for some reason, maybe I just wasn't supposed to have my keychain for two days. You know, maybe I would have gone in a car crash and died or something. So I'm really, really grateful that I found the keychain. It was such an answer to prayers. And now I can fly back to Utah in one week and see my family. All right guys, it's nighttime now and I've been helping Lexi with some homework and working on Red Swim and things. And I just walked out of my room to find the caught red-handed Brighton has been cleaning the kitchen. I love Welcome. you, that's so nice. Welcome. Um, wow, just like acts of kindness happening because you just brightened it this last night too. Same thing. Yeah, I just just wow. Just Brighton, wanted thank you, to. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I really that means so much. I was gonna it? light the candle and like leave you a little note, but Oh dang it, I came early. out early. <laughs> oh, that it's is okay, like okay though. I'm glad. I'm glad you came out now because <laughs> Brian, that is the most like heartwarming. Like honestly, I just am really grateful. I don't even know. I just oh, you guys, if you are looking for some kind to do for your mom, if you, you know, you're living with your mom, you're thinking, hey, my mom has done a lot today, you should do this. You should clean the kitchen for your mom, do the dishes for your mom, light the candle, write the note. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're too tired, it's fine. Cause it means the world. Like that is like, that just makes me so happy. And then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do something nice for Brighton. Brighton, what can I do for you? How can I, what can I do to- Give me a high five. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what else? <laughs> Nothing really. I didn't do it for something. I just did it. You just have to be nice. And you're not done. You're still working. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I just. That's just amazing, I'm just really grateful. And I just got off the phone with Taylor. She is off to a basketball game at BYU Hawaii, which is gonna be so fun. She's going with her friend Marissa and they're just gonna go watch the boys play basketball. So that sounds super cool. And we're gonna stay awake a little bit later and finish some homework. But tomorrow, you guys, I think tomorrow might be like the one of the last days to turn in work, which means like we get to start partying. Like, oh, the term is over. I feel like we should have a party. We honestly should. We should. After the Radsom shift um, at the Radsom store, I came home, made some dinner for the kids. Just like a really random dinner. I'm not a good cook. But anyway, it was just like this chili, like this hamburger chili that you just put cheese and sour cream in. So anyway, then we did some shipping and then I decided to drive all the shipping packages because we're kind of behind with shipping actually, which I'm so grateful. So grateful for all the orders. I hope you guys had a good day today. Look at this, Brighton. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait, this is a really good thing to show you guys. Who? <laughs> Archive. 
They love Pearl so much. I don't know if cats. She doesn't really like us. It's funny. It's like she doesn't. She, I mean, reasonable, but. Pearl. She likes my mom, so. She does. Pearl, we have a good relationship, but I don't really pick Pearl up very much. So she feels really safe around me because she just knows. She just knows I'm probably not going to pick her up. I just pet her. <laughs> and so she likes that. But I think it's fine if you pick her up, Lexi, because, I mean, that makes you happy. You got to be happy, too. Oh, yeah, I got to be happy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just Girl, just let just let her pick you up, kitty. Anyway, takes <laughs> zeal. We love you, besties. Love you so much. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.